Welcome to Creators For You, the channel featuring a variety of people from around the world. Let's take a look at this week's Creator For You. Hello, my name is Indidi Amafiele. I'm from Nigeria. I'm from Delta States, um, from Agua. Agua is a tribe in Delta States in Nigeria. I'm an artist. Um, I specialize in painting, but I love to experiment. So I use lots of mixed media, compact discs, pens, acrylics, um, just pens, lines, textures. Um, I love textures, so I love to try different objects that have a fine texture to them. Yeah, so let me talk about some of the pieces um, you're going to see right now. The first piece here yeah, is titled Rainbow. Yeah, Rainbow is about 70 by 80 cm. Um, it's it's um, an image of a, of a black girl with blonde hair, um, very funky, with the pop eyeglasses, very retro. It's retro inspired and she's got the um, very lovely African fabrics scarf on her neck and a tiny spaghetti. Um, I love portraying African women, their fashion choices and how they're, they're evolving over time. The African woman wants to be seen, she wants to be so beautiful and admired. So, and the richness of the fabric as well, I love to showcase. And I'm obsessed with eyeglasses, sunglasses, eyewear basically. It feels sort of empowering when I have them on. You're able to see the fears, the vulnerability, and the pains generally. You know, it, you, you sort of feel empowered where you can, you can still carry yourself um, with your head up high, despite whatever it is. So then that, probably that's where my love for eyeglasses came from. But right now, it's, it's transcendent that it's more like an obsession. So I love to play with all styles of glasses, retro inspired all shapes you know and textures as well yeah and the dark girl going blonde and just just a mix of several things probably con contrasting elements mix them together to create a fine um, piece that works very well together okay um, that's that bow rainbow the second piece you're going to be seeing is titled Ayo and Fine Things um, Ayo and Fine Things was inspired oh sorry um, Honey Ayo, the first series, it was in the series, the first series was Ayo and Fine Things. That's Honey Ayo, that's from my friend who is my muse. You know, Ayo called me one morning and he said, Oh, I just woke up Honey this morning, can you imagine? And I said, That would make a good piece. So I began to do Honey Ayo. So it's a little bit erotical. You could see lots of sexual like images in the background, you know, the ladies, the guys, the hot legs, and all of that, her, the woman, the sultry form, her post-shop, hobby, and all of those. Ayo's imagination actually is running wild, and he's unable to get satisfaction, so you can see the expression on his face, like, what the... Okay, so, so that's Holy Ayo. It's the same size with Rainbow. It's still about 70 by 80 cm. We try to make them very uniform pieces, just so one will have problems placing them. You can have an idea of what, um, how they could all fit into a particular space. It could all be put together depending on how you like it. So that, um, the materials used in Iron Fighting is quite similar to Rainbow, just that Rainbow had lots of more construction. Iron Fighting, I use acrylics. Um, I played with some collages in the background. Yeah, then fabric. I use fabric to create his heart. Yeah, it's, it's a Yoruba heart. The typical Yoruba man, when he's performing, or even just probably going for an occasion, he has that. And my friend Ayo is from the Yoruba tribe, so I have to put the cap so you just know this is a, a Yoruba man. So that's Ayo and Fine Tins. Then the third piece um, you're actually looking at is titled um, Like a Dream. That's just the typical story of um, a lady, an aspiring musician who um, starts the career and it, who, who, she actually dreams of being really successful and big and it, it just exceeds her imagination, the success she's achieving and she can't believe it, it still feels very surreal and she's trying to, she's trying to absorb it all, the level of success she's achieved. So I had the very big head with the spiral lines on it and her hands going through, you know, she's still, she's still trying to... Uh, Probably imagine how her life has turned out to be and how how blessed she is. So that's like like a dream. We're actually in a series, in a series of um three of them, but that's just the one you're going to see right now. Probably subsequently you might see the other ones. Okay. And the next piece, number four, is titled Waiting. Waiting um, is about my largest series. I've had waiting. I've had still waiting. I've had waiting in anticipation. So this is waiting. 
waiting is about, you know, basically, I, I mean, everybody in life is at some point waiting for one thing or the other, but this waiting here, she's waiting for her husband. The society I come from, when a lady is of a certain age, you're expected to be married, so everyone sees you, and the first thing is, what are you waiting for, you know, and we're waiting for you, or, you know, and the lady is like, I'm waiting for the man to come, so basically everybody is waiting at some point, waiting for a job, waiting for a child to come along the way, waiting for a husband, but she's waiting for, I also had ladies in waiting, so it's in the same series with ladies in waiting, so it's, it's similar materials also used, though the, the subject matter could also determine the materials and methodology that we use in the actual piece. But waiting also has um, collages in the background just to add some color to it and also still tell the story. Yeah, it has several symbols there of um, the ladies waiting and sort of. And I have the, the frames. The flexible frames actually slice to create the, the frame of the glasses. And I have the compact discs I texturize to create the lens of her glasses. Yeah, then the lines as well to create effects. And also, you know, it's, the, the lines on it will also tell the story. It has a feel to them. When the person is so excited, I try to create what I call the happy lines. And when it's, 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 it's very emotional, probably sentimental, it also has the has more of the spiral lines here yeah. just try to inject some surrealism into it as well yeah then the fifth and final piece here yeah, is also in the series of waiting as well quite similar to the other one probably in the posture you know but you could see you could see so much emotion in her eyes you know that waiting so much the anxiety the anxiousness she's waiting for something to come along the way yeah then also played with the lines on her hair as well. You still see the very spiral flow of lines just to portray her emotions and how she's got so many things running through her mind. It's the, the lines are sort of very intense with the black background. I love the intensity and the, it's, it's quite deep and very personal as well. So yeah, then it also has collages in the background as well, but they are, they are sort of very subtle and, and dark because she's not very happy. It's, so much is going through her mind. Yeah, so it's the same size, they're all the same size, 70 by 80 cm, all mixed media, acrylics, collages, metals, compadies, colors, enjoy, I hope you like them, and um, to, to get more information, to get more information on most of the pieces you've seen today, you can check my website, www.indidimfl.com, or you could also send me an email, on indidikanma at yahoo.com yeah thank you very much i hope you enjoy them so enjoy <laughs> thanks for subscribing and supporting creators for you